Hello everyone. So in this particular video, we are going to see about the AWS Glue practical part. So we will do a practical. We will try to understand each and everything about the AWS Glue. Okay. So how actually we are going to start? So suppose for taking example, uh, we have a one data. Okay. So we have a data. We have data stored into the in S3 location, S3 location. So what I will do, I will take one CSV file. I will show you. Okay, I'll take one CSV file that is stored into a that we will try to store into our Amazon S3 location. Okay, in Amazon S3 location, we will try to store it, and after that uh, we will try to create a crawler. Okay, we'll try to understand how crawler works, and then we will perform a glue activity. Glue activity where we will perform a ETL activity, and we will try to store this data into a JSON format. JSON format. Okay, so with the help of the AWS Glue. Okay, so that is the thing we are going to do in this particular video. Okay, then we will move further with the advance. Okay, so what I will do first, I will go to my AWS console. This is AWS console. We'll search for the Amazon S3. So I'll search for the S3. We first we'll try to create one bucket also because this is from a basic. Okay. So what I will do? I'll I'll create a one bucket. I'll give bucket name as a glue activity practical something. You can give any name. Okay. This is one I'm giving. I'm going with this particular reason. And uh, rest of the property, I am going with as it is. Okay, I'll just try to create a bucket. Okay, and then we'll try to store. So this is the bucket we have created. In this particular bucket, we'll try to upload the file. Okay, add files. And where is our file available? I'll go to that folder. I'll try to store that. And this is the particular file and I'll click on the upload okay so this is the particular file which got up updated into this particular location okay so now in our s3 location we have a file okay now what I will do I will try to open a glue so search for the glue open in a new tab okay so now we are looking into the AWS glue okay once you will open the AWS glue you will get to see this particular screen okay now in the uh, left side you will see right uh, we have a etl jobs data catalog table data connection a data catalog data integration and etl and all you will get to see okay so what we have to do now is like uh, click on the data catalog click on the crawler okay in a data catalog first we are going to click on the crawler so what we will do, we will try to create a crawler. So what is the crawler we have to give? We have to give first the crawler name. Okay. So we will give a glue crawler. Okay. This crawler will go to the S3 location and it will create a metadata information. Okay. So this is the name we are giving. Okay. And if we will go to the tags, uh, we, we are not going to put anything here. Uh, click on the next. Okay. Data source configuration. Okay. So add a data source, click on the add a data source. Our data source is S3 location. So we'll select that. Okay. And after that, the uh, location of the S3 data. Okay. In this account. So we have to search for the S3 location. So this is the S3 location, right? So we'll select that. Okay. And uh, after that, just put the slash. Okay. And after that, we get the option like the crawl all subfolders, crawl new subfolders, crawl based on the event. Okay, so this is nothing but uh, in S3 location. Suppose you have a multiple uh, folders, right? So it will it will crawl all your files into the multiple folders. Okay, as of now we have only one folder, so we'll go with that. Add on the S3 data source. Okay, so we have selected that. Click on the next. Okay, now after that, the we have to create an IAM role. Okay. So if you already have any kind of the IAM role, you can select that, but we are going to create a new IAM role. Okay. So this is nothing but a, a, it is going to create one IAM role policy so that it can access all the glue and the other access. Okay. So we will give glue uh, practical. Okay. 
so we are going to create this particular uh, i am role okay so that they, this can communicate to the s3 location so okay so uh, in uh, later we will also try to put uh, some kind of the s3 access and all and all also okay i'll click on this so this one is done click on the next okay so this one we have created and after that we will just click on the next after that we have we have to create one database okay so add a database click on the database uh, so we will give the database name as a glue db okay just click on the create database okay in this uh, glue db only uh, that will be created okay so we will just refresh this and uh, this one we have created right we will select that and what is the table name uh, so we will give the glue one okay this is the table with that table uh, one table will get created when the crawler will run all the metadata will store into this particular table name okay and the after that crawler schedule so how actually you want to run you want to run on demand hourly daily weekly monthly okay so that actually you can use it okay so this generally works it like suppose uh, your schema is getting changed in every day so you can run this crawler every day weekly monthly something like that okay click on the next okay so this is all the property we have set up click click on the create crawler okay now our crawler got created okay now if you go to the crawler right So this is a crawler we have created and the state is also ready. Now what we'll do, we'll select this and we'll try to run it. Okay. As of now, in a table, if you'll see right, there is no table is available. Okay. What this crawler will do, it will go to the our S3 location and whatever based on that actually metadata information will get uh, stored into this table. Okay. So I will try to run it first. Okay. Now it is running. Once it will run right, it will create one glue DB database which we have given in a crawler and the one table will get created. Okay. Okay, the crawler successfully starting. So it is running now. Okay. So let me refresh it. Let me refresh. It is still running. Okay. Now if you will see right in glue crawler, we can see one table changes from the one one got created. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll go to the table. Okay, let's see about the table is available or not. So this is the table which got created. The DB name you can see the glue DB. Okay, we'll click that. Okay, now if you will see it automatically got uh, ident it automatically treated like the particular file it got more metadata information we can see the column name employee id name salary and the address and also it detected that employee id is integer name is string salary is integer and the address is string so that is the advantage of the our crawler so crawler actually it went to the s3 location it crawl the data and the metadata information we can see here okay so it is like a data is not moving from a s3 location okay what actually we are going crawler is going to the s3 location and it treated the file and uh, we have a data it is like a external table how actually it works okay i hope you got idea now what we'll do we'll try to go to the our etl jobs okay and we'll try to create a click on the etl jobs uh, you will get to see this particular screen okay so here we have a multiple option either you can create a visual through a visual you can create a source and target or if you already have any kind of the python script that also you can use you can use a jupyter notebook you can use a sparse script if you have already have okay but as of now what actually we are going to do we are going to use a visual through which we will perform my etl activity so i will select this and click on the create okay after that you will get to see this particular option this is your source this is your transformation and this is your the target location where actually you want to save and this is the plus window here you will get multiple option like if you want to perform a multiple transformation you can select from here even from dot data actually you can select here okay data also you can select here okay now what i will do i will first try to delete this and we'll try to create a 
source and target so this is our source right so i'll select this source is s3 bucket and we'll try to select our data catalogs which we have created so i'll select the db name and also the table name so this is our table name so now our source is now ready okay if you see the output schema you will get to see okay now we'll try to what we'll do we'll tr we are not performing transformation as of now we are only performing a copy activity right so i select the target and where actually you want to store you want to store into sql or you want to store into s3 i will select the amazon s3 location okay now if you'll see we have a target so i'll select this uh, so here we, uh, which format you want to save uh, you can save into euro orc parquet any other format but we are going to store into a json format now it will ask like where actually you want to store so as of now i only have a one bucket so i'll select this bucket only okay here only the json format will get stored okay now this our uh, target is also ready okay now we have to go to the job details okay and now if you go to the script uh, you will get to see this is automated script which got generated if you already have a script that that also you can use but through a visual this automated script got generated that is the advantage of the uh, glue okay now we'll go, we'll go to the job details now we'll give the name give uh, practical one okay after that the i am role whatever the i am role we have created right this i am role so in this particular i am role what we have to go do we have to go to the uh, role i am first you have to search for the i am and then go to the role okay select the role and uh, this is the uh, role we have created right and from this add permission attach policies and the amazon s3 full access you have to select amazon s3 full access we have to select okay once you will select now that will get added here i already added okay amazon s3 full access okay that is the thing we have to do otherwise it will not work so we have selected the im role here okay after that uh, we have to select the glue version language okay worker type how many worker you want to use as, as of now i will select only two because this is for the practical otherwise it, it will charge more okay if you want to try retry option you can select that now you have to click on the advanced property in advanced property what we have to do we have to give the script name so i will give the script name as a uh, glue practical to uh, okay glue practical 1.py this is one i am giving okay after that uh, that's it now we have to go to the version control now after that you have to save it once you will save it right after that click on the run now our etl job will run click on the run details now it is running it should be succeed okay so for that we have to wait let's wait it to be succeed or if it is failing then also we will try to debug it now now if you will see our run is succeed now we'll go to the s3 bucket so this is our s3 bucket okay what we'll do we'll try to refresh it okay so this this one got created this in uh, this is for the all the kind of the uh locks and all for that it got created okay but uh, we have selected this location in this location this is the file which got created okay now uh, let us try to download and let us try to read this okay now it should be available in a json format okay so first uh, we'll go to the download folder the time is this one uh, so i will open this open in a notepad okay the file should be available in a json format so this is a file which is available in a json format so that is how actually we can perform a etl activity okay only one way actually you can you you can get a failure if you haven't selected the proper i am role okay so that actually you have to maintain it okay i hope you got it that's it in this video we'll meet in the next video Thank